your dignity. Hey! Don't hold back your praise. Come on, come on, come on. Hey! Who is greater than to you, my Lord, the man here?
you know Jesus looked at five five loaves and two fish very little in the midst of so much but he said thank you for somebody who has come out of the pulpit today or somebody who is actually in the audience you're saying what is this little in the midst of what I'm trusting God but Jesus taught us that if you say thank you for little then God multiplies it come on I don't know what your little is now is that time when you're going to talk to God yourself? Is that time when you're going to talk to God for what looks like it is little? For the five loaves and the two fish. Because when you say thank you, when you thank him for life, when you thank him for his provision, when you thank him for his preservation, when you thank him for his protection, what appears to be little in the midst of so much, it has a way of multiplying. It has a way of multiplying. And like we said over the last few weeks, Abraham kept on rejoicing in the midst of a body that was dead. Kept on thanking God in the midst of his wife's body that was dead. But the wife received strength in the midst of thanksgiving. Come on somebody. The one leper returned. Even though his fingers were still missing and his toes were still missing. But he came to say thank you. And wholeness came. Oh my brother and my sister, there's power in thanksgiving. Thank him for your family. Thank him for life. Thank him for your children. There's something. There's something. Thank him for that marriage. Thank him for that husband. Thank him for that wife. Thank him for that job. Oh yes, Lord. Father, we thank you. We thank you for every man, every woman celebrating birthday. Lord, we slept and woke up because you have sustained us. You are the giver, but you are also the keeper of life. 